Hi students, again welcome back to Mass YouTube channel Mass Insights. I am Shiva, your Mass teacher. Today's topic is what is meant by cubite and cube. After knowing what is meant by cube and cubite, you will learn what is the total surface area, how to find total surface area, lateral surface area and volume of these cube and cuboid. These are very important geometrical solid figures. Now we will learn what is meant by a cuboid. cuboid. See if you take a rectangular paper like this and if you take many many more papers in this rectangular paper let it is L and it is B length and breadth. Now if you take number of papers of the same size and if you place one on the other then you will have such type of figure then you will have this height which is called h now this is b breadth and this is l after uh, reforming this figure you will have this type of figure which is called cuboid so cuboid is a solid figure solid figure which occupies some space that space is called volume of the cuboid in this case we have to find three measurements first total surface area lateral surface area and volume we will concentrate first on lateral surface area total surface area first total surface area we will concentrate on total surface area of a cuboid cuboid in this case you have to remember that you if you bring a birthday cake that box which you bring in will be in the form of this cuboid if you want to wrap if you want to cover that box with a paper which looks like very uh, attractive that area of the paper is called the surface area of this cuboid now if you open the box which you bought a birthday cake for your friend or a relative it may be like this see this is the bottom of the cuboid and you this is one side okay this is the other side whatever the top top will come here again right this is one side this is another side so i opened the box you know this is breadth this is a length this is height this will also become l this will become h right height this is h this is this is what b breadth this is height this is height this is b again this is this becomes l and this becomes b this becomes h and this becomes l now in this case you have six rectangles let them name as one this is two this is three this is four this is five six you have six rectangles the paper required to cover all these rectangles is called the total surface area of the cuboid. Now we will find the areas of all these six figures. Total area of six rectangles is equals to that is equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. I have six rectangles here. I will take first rectangle whose length is l and breadth is h actually this is rectangle therefore area of the rectangle is l into b means l in length into breadth here length is l breadth is h that is equals to l into h plus if you take second one length is l breadth is b itself therefore l into b third one third one is here length is l and breadth is h therefore area will become l h plus if you take fourth one this is also like this one therefore its area is l into b fifth one if you see length is 
B and uh, breadth is H. Therefore, its area is B into H. Again, sixth one, this is B into H again. If you observe L into H, here also L into H. How many L into H are there? 2 into LH plus LB. Again, LB is there. 2 into LB plus LH is already over BH plus BH. 2bh. If you take 2 as your common 2 into lb plus bh plus hl. This is the area square units. This is the formula for finding total surface area of the cuboid. Now we are going to find lateral surface area. Before going to find you have to know what is meant by lateral surface area. In this box, whatever the box you bought the cake in, if you remove the surface area of the top and bottom, then the remaining is called lateral surface area. Lateral surface area of cuboid. Simply you are removing the surface area of top and bottom. Top is L into B, here also L into B. That means you are removing this L into B and this L into B. Then you have the remaining that is LH plus this is removed LB. Again LH plus this is what you removed LB is removed BH plus BH. BH plus bh that is equals to 2 lh plus 2 bh if you take 2 h common 2 h into if you take 2 h l plus b square units this is called what you call this is called lateral surface area of the cuboid and this is the total surface area total means you are finding area of all surfaces this cuboid is having six surfaces then it is called the lateral surface area of the cuboid now we will find volume of the cuboid volume of the cuboid is very simple you have to find the area of the base that is l into b volume is equals to area of the base into height that gives you the volume of the cuboid. See area of the base is L into B and H is the height. Therefore, L into B into H cubic units is the formula for finding volume of the cuboid. This will become very clear when you solve some problems. Now, we will go to cube. cube. In similar manner, you have to take a paper which is in square form means this lens are same this if it is a then it is also a and if you pile up number of papers on one another like this you will get this figure after uh, reforming the diagram you will get a figure like this which is called cube the small difference between a cuboid and a cube is nothing but all sides are equal in the case of cube. But in case of a cuboid, you will have a length, breadth and height are different. Then you will have different shape. This is very simple when you know the formulas for cuboid. Now, if you bought the cake in a, what you call it, this type of box whose length, breadth and height are equal. And if you open it, then you will have six squares like this, whose all lengths are equal. This is A, this is A, A, A. This is also A, 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 whose sides is A. If you want to cover this box from all sides, you have to find, you have to know how much paper is required. That means you have to find the all areas of these squares that is very simple so how many squares are there one two three four five 
and 6. In all this, see in this total surface area means a into a square plus 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 a square. Why? Because there are 6 squares whose area is a into a length into breadth a into a is a square 6 a square square units is the lat uh, total surface area of the cube in the case of uh, cube lateral surface area is very simple if you remove the surface area of the top and bottom then you will have only four squares whose areas are a square means four means a square plus a square plus a square plus a square that is 4 a square square units is the lateral surface area of the cube finally volume if you want to find volume you have to find the area of the base multiplied by the height of the that object solid object see base is square therefore a into a and height is also a again Therefore, again a that is equals to a cube cubic units is the formula for finding volume of whose side is whose length breadth height is a. In this way, you can calculate total surface area, lateral surface area and volume of cuboid and cube. We will solve uh, two problems to clear uh, these concepts uh, very easily. Now they have given some measurements for a cuboid and cube to find total surface area, lateral surface area and volume. For cuboid, length, breadth and height are different. They have given L as 15 centimeters, B as 10 centimeters and H as 20 centimeters. Now if you want to find the total surface area, the formula is 2 into LB plus BH into HL square units that means 2 into 15 into 10 plus okay 10 into 20 plus 20 into 15 square centimeters which gives you 2 into 150 this is plus this is 200 plus this is 300 that is equals 300 plus 200 500 this is 500 plus 150 650 650 into 1300 so 1300 square centimeters is the total surface area now if you want to find the lateral surface area that means what it will give you 2 into h here h is given as 20 therefore 2 into 20 into l plus b 15 plus 10 that is square centimeters that implies 2 2 into 20 40 so 40 into 15 plus 10 25 so 40 into 25 25 4 is 100 so therefore total 1000 square centimeters is the lateral surface area coming to volume of the cuboid it's very simple it's gives you l into b into h that means 15 into 10 into 20 20 into 10 200 200 into 15 15 to the 30 therefore 3000 otherwise 15 to the 30 and two zeros total three zeros 3000 square centimeters is the sorry this is cubic centimeters cubic centimeters is the volume of the cuboid similarly very simple if you want to find the uh, total surface area of a cube whose side is a whose side is a and its value is given as 4 centimeters here the formula for finding total surface area this formula is derived from this only if you substitute a for b l and h you will get this 6 a square why because all l b h are equals to a in this case now what is first one is first one is total surface area 6 into a square a is 4 therefore 4 square that means 6 into 16 okay 16 6 is 96 square centimeters is the total surface area coming to lateral surface area 
which gives you 4 into a square that means 4 into 4 square that's 4 into again 16 16 4 is 64 square centimeters and finally value gives you a cube means that is equals to 4 cube that is 4 into 4 into 4 4 4 is 16 16 4 is 64 cubic centimeters is the value of the cuboid so these are the uh, total surface area, lateral surface area and volume of cube and cuboid. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you think like that, don't forget to share it, like it and subscribe it. We will meet in next video. Until then, have a nice day. Thank you very much.